Hi, this is Kent Sanders again, and in this third Evernote tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to search for things in Evernote. So, we've talked about some basics of Evernote, how to set up a folder system, <coughs> excuse me, how to uh, get stuff into Evernote, but all that really is of no value unless you can actually find the stuff that you put in here. And the more that you use of the Evernote program, the more you're going to be able to need to find your items because you'll have thousands and thousands of things in there probably. So let's get going here. Let me show you several ways and uh, tips for searching things. First of all, you can do just an overall search for things. And, and just to illust for illustrative purposes, I'm going to search through all my notes here, uh, at least for these first few. Let me go to this view item and I'm going to click show search explanation so you can more clearly see how it's searching here. First of all, let's just do a general search for uh, several words to illustrate this. Let's say if you want to search for the word university. Okay, so here you have the results. And anywhere that this word university occurs in any of these notes, it's going to pop up. So for instance, in this uh, article here from, looks like the Christian Standard from a while back, uh, this word university is in here somewhere. Let's check on the next page. So it's, it's in here somewhere, but I don't know where exactly. Uh, the next one is an article from another magazine, it looks like. And this word university is in here somewhere. I don't even know what magazine this is from. Looks like Christianity Today, maybe. So it's in there somewhere, um, and so forth. So this is uh, one way to find some items, is just to do a simple search. Um, but this obviously is not the most helpful thing because this is bringing up loads and loads of documents. So let me show you some other things here. Uh, now you can actually go to a specific folder and search. For instance, you can uh, Okay, this is turning up 204 results from this simple search from, and you can search from all notebooks, or you can search from maybe a specific notebook. Let's say uh, if I want to go to uh, my topics folder, that's obviously going to narrow the search here. And you can see, uh, for instance, this is a scanned article from the Post Dispatch here in St. Louis, and it's highlighted the word university here. And so this is one of the great things about Evernote is that it uh, it is able to recognize text in PDF files, which is not really a new thing, but it still yet it's a really great, a really great virtue of the program. Uh, here I have the same. I must have scanned this twice, I suppose. It's not highlighting highlighting the word university here, but it's uh, still in there. Here's a forward from um, from an email thing that I get uh, by Fred Smith, and the word university is highlighted here. Etc. Etc. You get the picture. Should be highlighted here somewhere, and it's not for some reason. So, for the most part, this search feature works really, really well. Let's try another word. Let's try the word uh, equipment. Okay, so this brings up only a couple of things in the topics folder. You have this. Uh, this thing here, it recognized the word equipment. Uh, it was somewhere in here I saw it. I forget where I saw it. So anyway, uh, it's in there. Here's another article where the word equipment is in. Let's see if it's on the next page. Uh, it's not, but this word is in here somewhere. Sometimes Evernote highlights the word that you were looking for. Sometimes it doesn't. I believe it depends on whether or not you scanned the PDF file, uh, whether or not the actual note is a, is a, was scanned as a searchable PDF file or whether it was just scanned as a regular PDF file or included in here, if that makes sense. Um, it also depends on whether it's, it's straight up text or whether it's a PDF file and so forth. So let's try a couple others just to illustrate this. Let's try Kodak. Okay, and these again, these are scanned. This is a scanned item. Let me move this over so we can see a little more clearly. This is a scanned item entitling the word Kodak. Obviously, you can see there. Now, this 
here is uh, this is from a pastors.com uh, article that I forwarded to my email address. So this was initially an email, and obviously you can see it recognizes the text Kodak in here. Okay, so that's pretty uh, pretty self-explanatory. Let me show you something uh, something else that it does as far as searching. Let me go to all notes, and let's say I want to find the word Telecaster. I'm a guitar player, and I play a Taylor guitar and a Telecaster guitar. So let's say I want to figure out all the stuff I have in Evernote related to Telecasters. Okay, so I type that note in. This is going to bring up several things. Number one, this is something I clipped, uh, I believe, from the web. So this is the web clipping. I believe this is um, this is a Facebook exchange for uh, between myself and a friend and a, a friend of mine on Telecasters. And so you've got a couple of things there uh, that you can see that when you search for something, it turns up. Okay, now you can also search for not just individual words, but also for phrases. For instance, again, I'm searching in all notes just to illustrate these, but you can search in specific folders, which will obviously narrow down the search. Okay, so let's say I want to search for the word, for the phrase Star Wars. And so I'm going to put that in quotation marks so that Evernote knows it's a phrase to search for, not just individual words. Let me illustrate that. Okay, if you search for Star Wars without quotation marks, it's going to bring up anything that has star or wars in it. And if you're from St. Louis, you pronounce that star wars instead of star wars. Little joke there. So put that in quotation marks. And it's going to bring up everything uh, that has uh, th these are those that I'm looking at right now. Actually, a printed copy. Uh, some other items here. This is um, a PDF file that uh, I believe my brother sent me, some type of article. Star Wars is in there. Here is a scanned article on uh, creativity that I got from the Lookout magazine. Let's see where Star Wars comes up in here. Okay, it's not highlighted, but obviously it's in there somewhere or it wouldn't have recognized it. Here's another scanned article. The phrase Star Wars is included here. Okay, so you can see how that works. Let's try another phrase. Let's try the phrase worship leader. Okay, in the all notes folder, because I put a lot of stuff related to worship in here, it's going to bring up this phrase a lot. You can see it's highlighted the phrase worship leader here from an article that I scanned from the Christian Standard. Uh, here is something I clipped from the web, I believe, highlighting the phrase worship leader. So you can see how beneficial this would be if you're searching for a specific phrase of some type. That makes sense. Now, so Evernote searches anything that you have in here as long as it has text. Okay, so it will search emails that you forwarded to yourself. It'll search things that you've clipped and uh, cut and pasted in here, web clippings, things that are text-based, based, uh, sort of in its first iteration. But it also searches photos and handwritten notes and things like that. Let me illustrate that. Again, we're searching in the all notes category, so there's well over a thousand notes it's searching through. Let's search for the phrase prescriptive. It's the phrase prescriptive. Now let me show you something kind of neat. Okay, it's bringing up text here. For instance, this is uh, something from Building Church Leaders. The phrase prescriptive is in here somewhere. I'm not going to take time to look for it because that's a big document. Let me show you this. This is actually a photograph of a whiteboard that I uh, a whiteboard from a the end of a class I taught last semester and I simply wrote on the board what things are prescriptive and I was just making a point in class there and so I took a picture of the whiteboard and it actually recognizes handwriting and my handwriting is not very good as you can obviously see but it still recognized it which is pretty impressive given that my handwriting is not that great okay let's try uh, another thing let's try a phrase let's try the phrase leaving a legacy. Can you can see here, I've got the phrase for my notes here. This is uh, some type of handwritten document from years ago. I'm not even sure, I'd have to look through this to see what it was pertaining to, but you can see the phrase here, leaving a legacy was handwritten. Evernote recognizes that as text. So this was a scanned document. Let's see, there's nothing on the back of it here. So you can see that it has very powerful search features. Let's do one more. Let's type the phrase 
Genesis. We'll see what turns up here. Lots of items here. As you can see, let's expand this a little bit so we can see this wider. I prefer this view in Evernote as opposed to a list because, because Evernote, um, you can put so many different kinds of things into Evernote that I will pretty quickly quickly recognize a scan document versus some, a photograph or something handwritten or whatever. So, okay, if you notice here, this is again a photograph of the same picture you saw earlier and it recognizes the word Genesis. Now you can see here, let me bring up this photo, make it a little larger so you can see it better. As you can see, my handwriting is again not very good, but it recognizes this word Genesis here. So that's that's a pretty uh, pretty impressive feature of Evernote. As long as your handwriting is halfway decent, it should recognize the text there. Okay, so it recognizes text in photos and handwritten documents in PDF files and web clippings and emails and text that you put into Evernote. And so really it kind of eliminates the need to tag notes in a really, really thorough way because it recognizes the text in the note anyway, so as long as you have the text in the note, it doesn't need to be tagged with that same text, if that makes sense. So because of the search features on Evernote, um, it really takes away the need to label things in a really highly sophisticated and detailed way, as long as it can read the text within the note. Let's do a couple other things here just for kicks. <clears throat> Okay, and I can list these by uh, list or whatever. For instance, um, let's search for the word uh, sparkle. Let me illustrate this. So again, if you can spell correctly, that is a major help here. Uh, actually, let me go back to the thumbnail view. Okay, here you have uh, an article called A Passion for Purity from the Lookout from last year. Apparently, I had this scanned in here. Uh, the word sparkle is uh, apparently in there somewhere. Okay, but what I really want you to notice is this is a photograph that a student sent me of another student's guitar pedal board. As you can see, it's highlighting the word sparkle here, and the sparkle is text on a guitar pedal in a photo. So that's pretty cool that it recognizes that. So where that could be valuable is if is if I'm trying to remember, okay, what... what um, which, which student was it that had the sparkle driver that had the, the different guitar pedal or whatnot? Okay, let's search for the word. Now you can see this has digital a photo of digital delay. This is a Boss guitar pedal. The text is not super clear here, but let's search for it and see if it recognizes this. Again, and this is searching all notes. Let's search for the word delay. And again, you see this photo pops up because it is recognizing this text delay. And so what this basically means is that you can take photos simply with your camera on your phone or other kinds of camera. You can take photos of documents, of business cards, of prima of signs, of menus, of whatever you would need to take you would need to recall. And you don't have to type that info in. You just have to have a picture with at least relatively clear text and Evernote will find that. So that's a very powerful feature. One other thing um, before we conclude this tutorial is um, I just want to note that if you can scan things as a searchable PDF document, even though Evernote will search out text in a document, if a PDF file begins its life in Evernote as a searchable PDF instead of as a regular PDF, then that makes searching, it really makes it more obvious when you're looking for something. Uh, for instance, if you have a 30-page PDF document and it has a certain phrase in there, Evernote will catch that phrase and it'll bring that up as a search result, but you won't be able to find the phrase in that document because it won't be highlighted. And that's, uh, you know, on the opposite side of things, if it starts its life as a searchable PDF file, then that becomes way more easier for you to, uh, to locate the phrase that you're looking for. And so that's why I really highly recommend if you're going to use Evernote to get a ScanSnap Fujitsu scanner, they're about 250 bucks for the the model that I use and I love it. I think it's a really wonderful investment if you're going to really dive into Evernote, which I highly recommend. Please feel free to contact me with any questions, comments. Um, if there's anyone that can help, feel free to let me know. God bless.